<laughs> okay hey my friends all right today's revit tip is about mm -hmm, oh yeah we're going to wrap material in a wall you know when you're building walls in revit you may notice that there's a checkbox for wrapping materials. And I want to explain to you what that means and how powerful that can be for you. Okay, so let's go to Revit. I'm going to move um, move myself up here. A tiny me. Hey, look at that. I'm actually on top of the mountain. <laughs> oh, God, I love this thing. Okay, Revit. So here we go. Inside Revit. Let's, let's, um, go to our plan first floor plan okay and let's say here <clears throat> okay let, let me just explain so let's just suppose this wall was a little bit longer okay so it's sticking out the end like that okay so here's what we're talking about in Revit let's look at the end of this wall in Revit this wall here if I it it has the brick ending at the end of the wall and it has the jip board ending at the end of the wall. Everything's just running to the end. That is normal. In Revit, that is totally normal for things to just come to the end. But you have the option to wrap the exterior material or the interior material. Okay? So let me just switch. I'm going to switch. I'm gonna, I just turned off my view template for a sec so that I could go to consistent colors to show you what I'm talking about. Okay? So this is the end of the wall. Now, with Revit, you can wrap materials. I'm going to get this window here. Create similar. I'm going to put one here. You can wrap materials at an insert, which is a door or a window, and you can also wrap materials at the end of a wall. Okay? So, when I highlight the wall and I click on Edit Type over there, You'll see right here that wrapping, and that's talking about wrapping materials, wrapping at the inserts says do not wrap. Okay? And if you look, sure, it's not wrapping. Anything, nothing's wrapping. And at the end, wrapping at the ends of a walls, it says none. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this none to wrapping the exterior material. Okay? Exterior. And I'll say okay. So take a look. What happened here is the exterior materials, anything in the wall that was designated or allowed to wrap, did wrap. So we've got the brick wrapping at the end of the wall, and we've got the airspace wrapping, and we've got the sheathing wrapping. So all of those wrapped. In Revit, you can actually tell these objects which items you want to wrap and which ones you don't want to wrap. So let me show you. So if I can click on this, and I'll go back to Editing Type, and we can go into the structure here, and you'll see right there is a list for wrapping, okay? The brick is wrapping, the airspace is wrapping, and the gypsum board is wrapping. So you can turn off things. These are the um, exterior objects, see, on the exterior side, and these are the interior objects toward the interior side. So if I uncheck objects like the, the gypsum sheathing and the airspace, only the brick's going to wrap. When I say OK, take a look. Okay? Only the brick wrapped. The airspace stopped and the jip stopped. But if I want this jip to extend but not the airspace, I can do that. You can pick. I'm going to go back to Edit Type. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to pick the gypsum sheathing. So you can pick which objects do the wrapping. So I'm going to say OK. And there you go. See? The sheathing wrap the end and the brick. So that's the exterior material control at the end of a wall. If I click on this and I say, wait, you know what? I would like the interior materials to wrap. Interior materials. And if you just go look, the only interior material that's set to wrap is the only interior material that's on this is the chipboard. So if I go take a look. Yeah. The jip board wrapped the end. And what happens is the finish wraps until it hits another finish. And so that's why it was wrapping until it hit the other finish. That's why the brick came all the way down until it hit another finish. So finishes, finish, they hit each other. Okay. 
So that's what's going on at the end of a wall. Okay. But let's talk about inserts for a moment. We have a little bit more control. If I click on this wall and go to edit type, take a look. Wrapping at the ends only has none or exterior or interior. Okay. So if you look at wrapping at inserts, it has do not wrap. And there's one more option. You can have the exterior material wrap, the interior material wrap, or both. But things are a little bit different here. So let's just put it on the exterior material wrapping at inserts. I'm going to say OK. Now you'll notice what's going on is on a typical, absolutely typical window that you put in that doesn't have any control built in, this material that you've told the exterior material is going to wrap until it hits the middle of the wall. So this has gone into exactly six inches on a 12 inch thick wall. Okay. This has turned bam. And you'll see the airspace stopped and the sheathing turned. So we can control again which objects are wrapping and which ones are not. But we did, we don't have the control yet to tell it to stop at the center. Okay. I mean, to, to tell it other than stopping at the center. Now let's, let's switch it. Watch this. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say, I would like at inserts for the interior material to wrap. And so what you'll see here is the interior, the jib board wrapped to the middle of the wall instead of the exterior material. And lastly, I'm going to click on and change that to both. And when you switch it to both, that takes the interior material and the exterior material, and they both meet at the center, okay? The center of the wall. Now, if you want, <clears throat> now that, that can be good because your window can be placed in here in the wall, wherever you want it to place. And suppose, but, but here's a problem. Let me just show you something. If on this wall I said none, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to talk to you. If I'm going to say, whoops, not that far. I'm right here. For the um, wrapping it inserts, I'm going to say do not wrap. Okay. And what's happening is this frame is bridging over the opening. We, from interior, you could look and see the stud here because the jib board only comes to the end. And you can see brick over here because the, the, the frame <coughs> is over the end of it. But some people, some people go, oh, wow, I would like on this window for this particular window, um, the setback from the face, uh, I have built it into this window. I can set it back to maybe, let's go, let's say it's set back seven full inches from the face. Let's just say, okay. So this window sets back, but now from the exterior, well, that, that's all the, the, uh, the issue with the interior because my interior jip board is stopping right here at the frame. That works. But look at the exterior. The brick is here. And so actually, if you were outside, you could look and see right inside the wall there in the cavity. I know Revit puts a dark line here, but the truth being told, this material is not wrapping. So you could see right inside this airspace, you could see the end of that chipboard. <clears throat> and if you wrap this in, let's just say I want, I want these to both meet. That sounds good. Maybe I can get the chipboard or I mean the, uh, I'll get the exterior material to wrap. Oh, that sounds like a plan, right? So I'm going to go here and say the exterior is going to wrap at the inserts. Well, look at that. It only went halfway and it didn't go far enough to be covered by the window. So what we actually need here, and, and this is not realistic because the brick turning to the halfway point is breaking through the stud and this is not normal. So we need control inside this to make the material stop where we want. I would want the brick to turn and come back here and hit right on the face of the sheathing and have the sheathing go on to the end. Okay. So 
The distance, I'm going to measure it, the distance that I'm talking about is that, 4 and 7 eighths. I would want the brick to turn back 4 and 7 eighths and stop right there. And I would want the window to only be coming back maybe 4 inches. So I'm going to set that window to, look at this, set back from the face of the wall, only 4 inches. Okay. There. So when this stops at 4 and 7 eighths, it is bridging, this, this frame is, will capture it. And I need the, egg, the interior material to wrap also. So back to, let's tell both, not just the exterior, let's tell both to wrap. Okay, so both wrap, that's really nice and all, but we need this material to stop at 4 and 7 eighths. We need to shift this to 4 and 7 eighths so it actually works. This is a component built inside, not the wall, it's built inside of the insert. So inside the inserts, you have to place a specialty item, and I'm going to go into that in a different video. It is the material setback or the material location line that the material comes to and hits. Instead of just going all the way to the center of the wall, we can make it stop exactly where we want. And I built that into this window. So on the next video, I'm going to show you how to implement that. So I'm going to click here on this window and I'm going to open it up for editing and the editing and you'll see that the material setback right here is a setting and I'm going to set it to four and seven eighths inch and you will see that on this window the material has adjusted to four and seven eighths right there and this is how you control the um, the uh, materials wrapping at inserts and at the ends of walls. And so I'm going to show you guys in the next video how to build the control into a window to do two things. Number one, to be able to adjust inside the wall. Okay, let's just say it's going to two inches for the ability for the window itself to be adjusted inside the wall and I'm going to show you how to get the material wraps to go to the location that you choose so that you can dial it in. It's a parameter. Okay? So I encourage you guys to come back for the next video. I hope that's enough information so that you understand material wrapping at the end of a wall and at inserts, but you're kind of stuck with it wrapping to the center of the wall until you learn from the next video how to control where that wraps to. All right, until we meet again, happy riveting.